friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today it's Pumpkin Palooza. We are talking about all things pumpkin from Trader Joe's. We're going to do taste tests. We're going to talk about all of the brand new pumpkin products as well as some of the classic favorites. I can't wait to dig in to all things pumpkin. Fall is here, my favorite time of the year, and I just can't get enough of everything fall at Trader Joe's. So if you're excited for Pumpkin Palooza, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I have so many fall inspired recipes and ideas and videos coming your way. You definitely don't wanna miss out. Check out the description box down below for my two recipe ebooks. I just released breakfast and lunch. Both contained 15 WW friendly low calorie recipes. You can't you can't beat it. You'll have healthy recipes on hand. So definitely check those out. Also nutrition coaching. I offer macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching, a little bit of something for everyone. Links, discounts to all my favorite healthy things. And lastly, head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So we have lots of pumpkin to do. We have pumpkin palooza to get underway. So let's jump in. First, I wanna share my shirt with you guys. I actually bought this shirt last year and I was so excited to break out all of my fall shirts. This is so cute. I picked this up off of Etsy last year. I have lots of fall inspired shirts, so be ready for all the fall shirts coming your way. I have this entire bag full of pumpkin products. So the first product I wanna share with you guys are the Trader Joe's pumpkin rolls. These are ready to bake five rolls. They're 330 calories a piece with icing or 270 calories a piece without icing. These are incredible. These sell out so quickly at Trader Joe's. In fact, when I went to Trader Joe's this last week, they didn't even have any more of these. Now, I don't know if they'll be restocked or not, but they're very popular. They are delicious. They're definitely not diet friendly, but I like to have these either on Halloween morning or Thanksgiving morning for a special treat for the holidays but they're delicious. If you can find these at your Trader Joe's, definitely pick them up. I found two pumpkin yogurts. First is the Trader Joe's Greek non-fat yogurt in pumpkin. I'm pretty sure they had this one last year. And then there's the Trader Joe's organic creamy cashew in pumpkin spice. Now I've never tried this one. I don't remember if I tried this one. So we're actually going to taste test both of these. So here is what it looks like. Smells really good. It definitely has a pumpkin spice smell to it. That's really good. The pumpkin isn't as strong as I would have liked the pumpkin to be, but it's definitely there. The flavor's there, that spicy is there. This is good, I would definitely buy this again. And now for the organic cashew. Here's what that one looks like. It's definitely a little bit more runny than the Greek yogurt. Smells really good. So this one has more pumpkin flavor. It's not as sweet as the Greek yogurt, but it has more of that like authentic pumpkin spice. I like this one better, but honestly, they're both really, really good. It just depends on how sweet you like your yogurt and whether or not you can have dairy. One of my favorite seasonal products are the pumpkin Trader Joe's JoJo's. This is their spin on the Oreo. Favorite little fall treats from Trader Joe's. Here is what they look like. Again, they're, they're spin on Oreo, so they have the cream in the middle. Delicious. Mm, 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 mm. A serving is two cookies for 160 calories. I know these are pretty high point, high calorie, but they're really, really good. If you want that total pumpkin spice Oreo cookie vibe, delicious. I'm pretty sure this is a new product this year. This is the pumpkin spice hummus. You can have two tablespoons for 70 calories. I'm wondering if it's sweet or if it's savory. I love hummus. I love sweet hummus, savory hummus. This would be so good. I was thinking with graham crackers dipped in. Doesn't really have a smell. That is really good. It's not sweet. I would say that it's definitely more on the savory side. It has those that really good flavor of spice. 
it's really good I think it would be like I said really good with something sweet dipped into it but it's really good I'll definitely eat this I would repurchase this as well Yum. And the other dip that I saw is this pumpkin four cheese Greek style yogurt dip. So they have their kale, spinach, Parmesan dip. This is the pumpkin four cheese. It says a savory, creamy pumpkin dip with shredded Monterey Jack, shredded shark cheeses, cream cheese, and Parmesan cheese. That sounds amazing. You can have two tablespoons for 60 calories. So not bad at all. Ooh, that smells so good. This is delicious. It is very, very cheesy. I don't get a ton of pumpkin. I really get cheese. There's chunks of cheese in there. This is delicious. This would be really good served with a savory cracker or some pretzels, or this would be really good on a sandwich or a wrap. Wow, both of these are delicious. Next is the La Colombe Coffee Draft Latte. This they had last year, and if I remember right, I didn't care for it, but we're gonna try it. It's 100 calories for the can. It's a foamy, nitrous-infused milk and cold brew. Cheers. It tastes like coffee and milk with a tiny bit of sweetness. I don't taste any pumpkin spice at all. It says don't shake, so I didn't shake it up. It's okay. Like I said, it tastes like coffee and milk, nothing special. I wouldn't repurchase this. Yeah, it just doesn't have the pumpkin vibe that I wanted it to have. Of course, I had to pick up the pumpkin bagels and my all-time favorite Trader Joe's pumpkin anything is their pumpkin cream cheese. It is amazing. I always buy several of these so that I have them after pumpkin season is over because this is the best cream cheese ever. You can have two tablespoons for 70 calories and the pumpkin bagels are 240 calories a piece. As always, points are here on the screen. This is one of my favorite fall inspired combinations. You can still have bagels. Just pair them with other zero point foods like eggs and fruit and it is such a good fall inspired breakfast. Really excited to have these. I will definitely be buying more of both of these before the season is over. I think this is a new product this year. This is the non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage. So it's a pumpkin flavored oat milk. It's 150 calories for a cup. I'm hoping that there's a lot of pumpkin flavor. Ooh, it is kind of an orange color when you pour it out. Ooh, that is so good. That is delicious. Wow, this is really good. It's creamy, it's pumpkin-y. The ingredients are an oat base, which is water, hydrolyzed oats, cane sugar, canola oil, I don't love that. Pumpkin puree, natural flavors, don't love that. Sea salt, am amarato extract for color, and gel and gum. So not terrible ingredients. I don't love that there's oil and natural flavors, but it's really, really good. So if you don't drink dairy or you love oat milk lattes, you could make a delicious pumpkin spice latte with this oat milk. Next is the Seasonal Perfect Bar, and this one is in pumpkin pie. Now these are nice, clean bars. They're generally really high in points. They are 310 calories a piece. You find these in the refrigerator. They are a refrigerated protein bar. There's 14 grams of protein and they contain 20 plus superfoods. If I remember from last year, I didn't care for this one either. I will link all of my Trader Joe's pumpkin fall videos down below for you. Here's what the bar looks like. It smells like peanut butter. There's no pumpkin. I taste zero pumpkin. I taste peanut butter. It tastes like it smells just like peanut butter, sweet peanut butter. It tastes good, but if you're looking for pumpkin pie, this isn't it. I mean, there's no pumpkin in this. So for the calories, for the points, I would not repurchase this. It tastes good, like I said, there's just no pumpkin. Next are the pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzels. I'm pretty sure they had these last year and these are incredible. You have 11 pretzels for 150 calories. There's a laundry list of ingredients, so probably not the best ingredients. Here is what they look like. They are just this cute little tiny covered pretzel with like a coating. They smell amazing. Super, super spicy. Delicious. Delicious. It says with yogurt flavored coating, crushed pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds. 
These are delicious. I remember these being really good. I think we bought several bags last year. Troy actually likes these, so I'll probably pop some of these in his lunch. Yum. Next up is the pumpkin biscotti. This is one of my favorite things that comes out at fall. Two pieces is 110 calories. Biscotti is a harder biscuit, so it's best paired with coffee. I like them plain, but it's really good to dip them into tea or coffee. Here is what it looks like. Smells delicious, very pumpkin-y. As delicious as I remember, one of my favorite things, so good. If you love biscotti, this one is incredible. At the end of the video, I'm going to pop in some pictures of some other products at Trader Joe's that I didn't pick up, just because we wouldn't use them and I didn't want them to go to waste, but they did come out with a maple nut biscotti. So I think when this one is gone, I'm gonna pick that one up, it's new this year. This is really, really good. Brand new product are these pumpkin spice covered espresso beans. These are only 99 cents. It's 180 calories for half the package or 360 calories in the package. I love chocolate covered espresso beans, so I'm sure that the pumpkin covered ones are going to be delicious. Mm. It's like a pumpkin latte in your mouth really, really delicious. They're very sweet. They're very coffee-y. I would say that you could have just a couple of these and it would be the perfect sweet treat or the little pick-me-up that you want with the taste of coffee. These are incredible. Great little gift idea for only 99 cents. Really delicious. I also picked up the pumpkin pecan oatmeal. We had this last year. This oatmeal is so good. It has little chunks of pecans in it. The perfect pumpkin flavor. It is 190 calories per packet and there's 14 grams of sugar in one packet. So it is pretty high in sugar, pretty high in calories. But again, if you want it as a sweet treat on a holiday morning or or as a sweet treat whenever you want to incorporate one, this oatmeal is really, really good. It is very pumpkin-y. It's everything that you would want in a pecan pumpkin oatmeal. Next up are the Trader Joe's Raises the Bar. These are with maple flavor, oats, millet, quinoa, amaranth, buckwheat, and pumpkin seeds. So this is their fall raise the bar. These are really, really delicious. They are 150 calories a piece. They have pretty darn good ingredients. Like they're kind of like a granola bar, like a chewy granola bar. So here is what they look like. They are a chewy type of granola bar. They smell amazing. Mmm. Delicious. Really good. I taste maple. I taste pumpkin pie spice. Really, really delicious. Would be great for kids. It's a much healthier alternative than a lot of their granola bars on the market. This is incredible. This is really delicious. Next is the pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. I haven't made this yet, obviously. This makes 24 cookies. My mom bought this last year and she said this was really delicious. So I'm going to make it for either Halloween or Thanksgiving. Any of these Cookie mixes from Trader Joe's are always really, really delicious. It's 100 calories for the dry mix, 140 per cookie. Still not bad for a cookie. And pumpkin chocolate chip oatmeal sounds delightful. Next is the This Pumpkin Walks Into a Bar. These are 130 calories a piece. It's Trader Joe's spin on a Nutrigrain bar. I really like their series of this Nutrigrain style of a bar. And I remember buying these last year. I just don't remember if I liked them. I'm sure because they're pumpkin and they're Nutrigrain style. Ooh, they smell so good. Yum. Wow. These are so good. They, the inside of this tastes like pumpkin pie, legit pumpkin pie. This is so, so good. These two bars, amazing. Amazing for kids, family friendly. Great if you want a little pumpkin in your life. This one is absolutely incredible. I can't believe how good this is. Next is the Petite Pumpkin Spice Cookies. These are shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. I remember buying these last year and these being absolutely delicious. You can have four cookies for 130 calories. So here's what they look like. This is the size of them. I mean, they're not a bad size at all. They come in orange and white and they have cute little sprinkles. 
Mmm. As good as I remember. Total frosted animal cookies. Troy's going to love these. You guys know he loves his frosted animal cookies. I'm gonna pop these in his lunch. These are really, really good. They're the perfect sweetness, crunch of that shortbread cookie, the perfect amount of spice. Wow. The last three items I have aren't food, but I wanted to pick them up and share them with you. First is the pumpkin body butter. This is so good. This is very moisturizing, perfect as the weather gets colder and our skin gets drier. It smells amazing. It has the perfect pumpkin smell to it. I buy this every single year, absolutely love it. And then I did pick up both of the fall candles. First we have the Honeycrisp Apple scented candle. Yum. It smells like a fresh apple. It's delicious. These candles are three or four dollars and they have a really, really good throw. And I also picked up the vanilla pumpkin. Yum. This one is my favorite. It's that sweet. It's that spicy. It's pumpkin. These are a really good value. They have excellent throat, excellent scent. So I always pick up the seasonal candles as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the pictures of all of the pumpkin related products that I didn't pick up. And again, just because we as two people can't eat all of this pumpkin stuff or shouldn't eat all of this pumpkin stuff, but it'll give you an idea of what other products there are at Trader Joe's that are pumpkin related. another Trader Joe's fall video when they bring out some more of their Halloween products. And then I always do a Christmas video with all of their Christmas goodies. I love Trader Joe's. It's super affordable. They come out with some really fun seasonal products that are really, really delicious. So I'm excited to have all of these pumpkin products in my life. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Don't forget about the two recipe eBooks down in the description box, as well as nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all my favorite things. And don't forget to come on over, join us on Facebook. We have lots of fun holiday things coming your way. Thank you again for watching. Happy fall, y'all. Happy pumpkin palooza, pumpkin spice time. I'm so excited. This is my favorite time of the year. Happy fall, and I'll see you next time. Bye.